Well, that was before, and this, this is now. I've done a little bit of uh, uh, finishing work on the front end of this this cabin, which we were building in the last episode, which I, I will not blame anyone if you don't remember, because it was quite a while ago, and I apologise for that. But it's been very, very hard for me to schedule some recording time on this server, mostly because I'd be too busy to rec doing recording everywhere else, but... Uh, I'm back here now and I've really really missed working here and recording here so I, I'm really hoping that I will get more of this done but uh, for now let's just have a quick look in here there's not hardly anything done in here except for oh why is there oh, oh I see why there's a bit of string there okay because somebody's put a shelf up Lou a bit of uh, interior decoration has been done in here. Not by me, I must add. Not not by me, but has been done. I think this so this would be the living room. And upstairs we have corridor leading. Uh, one bedroom. Two bedrooms. And three bedrooms. And this one has been decorated a little bit. There's some paintings out on the walls, a couple of beds, chest. I've got to assume, going by all the posters on the wall, this is the teenager's room. But who do I, who am I to tell? And up here, we have the observation tower. And there's a nice little statue in the middle here of a tree. I like that, to be honest with you. And we can look over Iris here and see all the new stuff that's been built, or some of the new stuff that's been built, and over the tree farm here, just to make sure there's no forest fires. A warden's job is never done. And back down out here. Yep, door's closed. And out into the main... well, out to the rest of the world. So, there we go. I'm going to level a little challenge against... Um, anyone on, on the iris server who's got a bit of time feeling a bit bored come along and, and decorate a room it'll be interesting to see what it looks like when we've all had a hand in it so welcome back to the iris server i do apologize for it being so long but uh um opportu just opportunity hadn't arisen and i'm aching to get back onto some of the projects i had waiting for me but today uh we're gonna have a quick look at this now this was a tunnel made by Dragon Wolf, and I like the tunnel, but I just I'm not so keen on the fact that it just ends abruptly here So I think we'll put a little facade on the front of it To make it look more like the entrance to a town and the other thing I want to do is I want to make a guardhouse here So you come down the tunnel here and there'll be some gates then you need to open the gates to get in a guardhouse here and then you can go through another set of gates into the bridge that takes you over the river and into Iris. And I'm also going to do just a couple little bits and pieces to make sure that you know, mobs can't spawn down here and wander onto the bridge and into the town. So, yeah, a bit of mob proofing. And that ties in with my, my big project uh, at the moment is making walls. This is where these wood blocks come in this is this is my layout for where the uh the, the the town walls are going to go so they're gonna stretch down here around here and down here just tidy this up a little bit make it all level and easier to build on and you can just tell that this you can really just tell that this has been a an end and, and this has faced an enderman apocalypse really can't you and a couple of creeper holes and things like that. it's just not being looked after right so we shall wall it in. This bit will be mob free. That bit the mobs can do what they want with. And we'll have nice walls. As you can see here the occasional tower. There'll be one on this corner here. The walls will go down here. Along behind April's house. Along and you know, Just follow the line of the river down here. There'll be another tower here. Well there is another tower here. And... As you can see, this is this is where we've actually, well, we I've actually been building tower uh, the walls here. So the walls go round here, down around the wool emporium and the sheep. Bigger tower here. I think I'm going to use this tower as my storage space uh, because, quite frankly, I'm getting a little bit annoyed about having to uh, go all the way underneath 
spawn towers to get to my stuff. So I'm just thinking, yo, oh, I haven't finished the floor there. <laughs> I'm thinking, you know, I will get uh, my stuff in here on these two floors and it'll just be easier to find stuff and, you know, take the, uh, take the stairs up to the roof as well. I think it'll be, uh, yeah, quite a nice little build and just just in general finish this off but up here if you go up here you can see you know this is these are the walls there's going to be a gatehouse there the unfinished bit and the walls go around behind some new builds there and there's an unfinished bit there behind the pub and so on let's get out of here and i'll show you a bit more of what's going on daddy ho and there we go down we go hit points of a wimps Alright, so following the walls along. Right, okay, so we come here to this new build, which as you can tell by all the wonderful colours in it, that this is a Dragon Wolf build. Uh, I, she makes no no secret of it. Um, you know, Dragon Wolf has uh, is, is vision impaired, and because of that, I think she just loves working with colour. And her stuff is really bold, bright, colourful, and absolutely gorgeous. Not stuff I would make myself, which I think is great because, you know, I make my stuff. Ooh. Oh, yes, we're above my experimental room with my melon farm. It's down there somewhere, and I really need to put that into the mob spits and indeed finish mob spits. Mob spits will be my item shop, which is going to go behind clucking good chicken. So, Iris Bookstore for enchanted books and items. Not quite done. Not sure how to organise stock. And only half happy with the location. Okay. Right. Um, I'm assuming that there's going to be a bit more work done on this. But I do like this, to be totally honest with you. And lots and lots of chests of, well, I'm assuming stuffed. Lots of lights. Lots of redstone lamps. Does uh, Dragon Wolf. And I've, I've got to be honest with you, I've never seen a bookstore with pillars before. I do like that. That's very good. So, all right. So that's that. And okay, we people who've seen this before will know the town square here. We just need to build around it, which is happening. And here's Shizzy's pub, which. I know she's been working on quite a bit recently. Looking pretty good. These uh, tables have lights underneath them. They're providing a lot of the illumination for the area. And whoop. Oh, that can't jump out of there because there's half slabs there. All right, okay. Which means she doesn't have to light up in there. It's rather clever. Big, big fire. Big, big, big fire. Oh, yeah. And going upstairs. Haven't seen upstairs for a while yet. Oh, this is looking nicer. Another big, big fire. And snooker table. Or oh, pool table. A uh, nice little area to sit around here, enjoy your drinks, and watch the game. And I don't know what's going to be here, but I'm looking forward to it. Perhaps a little restaurant or a dance floor or something like that. It'll be fun. Okay. Um, Shizzy, when you're watching this, um, please feel free to take all the music out, out of Clucking Good Chicken if you want to make a dance floor or something here. I think this would be a much better location for it. Alright, going downstairs, I think this is still unfinished because uh, um, Dragon Wolf has been on holiday and I have been rather distracted, but we should get this organised really. But here we go, the lava floor which looks absolutely great if slightly disorienting and there's going to be a potion room built into the wall here which I need to finish and put in well I'll do an episode of that one day fairly soon I think so there's the pub alright out here yep and Gosh, sunset already. Doesn't time fly when you're having fun? Okay, so... Everything else is pretty much the same. 
I've just as I was building walls around here I decided that this area needed tidying up so I just put some flat levels in this and I'm just encouraging anyone who wants to take one to build on take one to build on and I also need to come down here and tidy up the side of the Acropolis now put some more slabs in so it looks a bit more natural so we come back round here to this side of the town which has had very little done to it to be totally honest with you except for the fact I've started to lay out the walls which you can see down here there's going to be another tower here and the walls go along there and along here and so on so let's get going on this build shall we oh yeah and dragon wolves hourglass I think it measures slightly more than an hour but uh, it looks fun nonetheless okay let's stop distracting myself let's get on with this in fact, right, there we go. All right, this is where we want to be. As you can see, this part of the world still has some mob problems, and we just want to eradicate those completely. And I'm just going to make this nice flat plane, easy to build an area with walls around. Everyone would be happy. Well, most people would be slightly less miserable. Well, possibly. So, this area first and all I'm thinking of doing is just putting um, just putting a stone brick facade around the edge of this go away and you thank you oh, I have those arrows very kind of you and just just to just to cap this off just to make it look because it doesn't end it just stops and as much as I like this that's a, a bit yeah. So let's go and grab some stone. Let's give it, make it look a bit magisterial, shall we? So I'm thinking stone brick because a lot of the civic stuff in um, in this town is made out of stone brick, and I think it's just going to make a really nice contrast as well. So hopefully this will be fun. Yeah. Why do they always attack when they're doing something else? Go away, thank you. Right, let's get building. So, just a really simple build here. What we'll do is we'll take the top layer of the front layer of soil off and we'll put stone brick around it. And then we'll just build a stone brick facade across the front here. So, let's get going. I think this is montage time. There we go. That's all I want to do with it. Just a tiny little bit to make it end and not stop. And I got to be honest with you, I did just don't want to change any of this because I think it's absolutely fantastic. I do love the color, the lights, the lights, the colors, the colors, and also the colors. I think it's fantastic. What are you doing? Go away. All right, and that's the reason why we want to build a gatehouse. So, gatehouse here. And I think the first thing I want to do is just take this in a layer. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do here. So we're just going to take this in just a layer. And that way we can frame the gatehouse around it a little bit easier. So let's just take this wall in thank goodness for enchanted tools they make life so much easier like this 
right there like that. And where are you? Ah, uh, pickaxe the face. Yeah, it's not as efficient, but far more fun. Okay, all right, let's get this here. Doink, doink, doink. That's good enough. And that's, I think that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put a wall up around this. And what I'm thinking about it, let's just take this up one as well. And the wall can start. You want to start here. Actually, let's take it in one more. So just a bit more, just give it a bit more dimension. And then we can perhaps put some beds and some furniture in here. You know, just the thought of, you know, imagine guards being here, protecting the city. Might get some villagers and put them in here, perhaps. And uh, they're going to need, you know, places to sit and um, you know, some books to read and things like that. And perhaps we'll give some access up to the top. So that if anyone tries to go over into the city, we can uh, defend and all that. So right, that's this is looking a, a little bit better now. So let's let's do this like that. And there we go. That's that out. Okay. And this side, let's just take a layer off. And I think, to be totally honest with you. It's time for building montage number two. See you all in a minute.
Right, there you have it. A little bit of a basic shell, but uh, it's there nonetheless. So you come in here. And yeah, this is looking a little bit more foreboding. Doesn't scare the zombies off, mind. And you've got this nice, bright, colourful corridor. And you're going to come down here to the gatehouse. And let's put the gates in, shall we? So, I'm thinking we'll use metal doors. Alright, so we'll take those and we're going to want some pressure pads. Okay, so we'll grab a couple of those and we're going to want some buttons. Uh, so we'll grab a couple of those, there we go. And where's those pressure plates? There they go. The pressure plates go down here. And the doors will go here. One there and one there. Yeah, okay, that looks the part. And we'll put the buttons in. Ring a doorbell to get it. There we go. Sorted. So it's very easy for players to get in, impossible for mobs to get in. That's that sorted. And now what we need to do is get this earth away from the bridge on both sides just quickly to stop things from being able to climb in. Let's just look over here. All right, that's two up. Things can't climb in there. Spiders can't climb in there because there's a gap. Well, I suppose they can just about climb in, but we won't worry too much about spiders. They're not really a threat. It's finding a creeper in the middle of your build, which is the problem. That was always annoying. So what we'll do here is we're just going to bring this earth back. A layer or two. Earth down here. That's it. Like that. Uh, actually, let's take these out as well while we're at it. Okay. And then all that's... Yeah, we've still got plenty of earth and that here it's just hopefully it's structured in such a way that um, the mobs can't get in so that's that side and we're just going to do the same on this side quickly and I think that for a first episode in a while will probably do the trick here we go so this side here let's just get rid of some of this earth here that, that, like that, and like that. The walls are going to go here across this way. So, you know, mobs can still get in this way, but they won't be able to in the long run. And there's a nice big drop over this side, and the walls are going to go that way anyway. Making a diagonal wall is going to be uh, an interesting challenge, I think. So you come down here and all nice and open I think we might want to use put something just there yeah I think that we're probably gonna put something there just just to make no actually no because I was gonna say no because we won't be able to ride horses out but we won't be able to ride horses out through these doors anyway and to be totally honest with you, nobody rides horses regardless so I'm not really gonna worry about that uh, so perhaps we'll put something there later on and this room could use a little bit of decoration nice big barred window for you to see out see any threats across that way and a, a big floor on top of it to patrol and fight off monsters that come across this way I'm not going to bother about clearing this area out because as long as that trap door is closed, nothing can get in that way anyway. Uh, so there we go. Just a little extra, uh, just a little build. I didn't want to do anything particularly ambitious because I haven't been here for a while and I just wanted to get my bearings again. And yeah, that's not too bad. Might come back later on and just put bricks up the side here as well. Because uh, I just feel the earth doesn't give it a feeling of permanence that the bricks do. So, next episode, I think I'm going to start doing some work on mobs bits. Um, I've had a, a, a trial um, 
melon farm and pumpkin farm going on for months and I think it's well beyond the trial now it's working very well I've redesigned it a couple of times so I want to take that and put that where mobs bits is going to be so add that to what could be added to the uh, the uh, the farm and let's understand the episode the way we started it here here we go so with my new nice new rangers tower and my nice new tree farm so there you go okay well thanks very much for watching i hope to see you next time so until then i've been simon parsons this has been minecraft in the town of iris thank you and good night